I'm filming right now. <laughs> ben Grant? You don't break that thing. <laughs> John Parsons? <laughs> Melissa Manchester? Uh, well. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yes, okay. and, and everybody, just a reminder as well that um, Chief Sullivan is going to be doing some narration uh, in between all the sections of the show. And as we kind of enter those different sections, if you can already start kind of making your way up on stage, um, I put uh, the flow sheets on the stands. If you need one for your chair, I've got more up here if you just want to know what's going on. But um, just in order to keep things moving, like as she's talking and doing the narration, we're in section, just go ahead and come on. I am Chief Musician Shanna Sullivan, the leader of the Navy Band Cruisers. I would like to thank you all for coming out tonight and joining us on this special occasion to celebrate with us. Thank you to all of the band officers that have come this evening and the enlisted in attendance, as well as all of our alumni in the audience. Please stand and join musician first class Corey Parker in singing our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled Tonight, we will be celebrating our 20th anniversary and honoring the Navy Band's original rock ensemble, Port Authority, who were the predecessors to the current Navy Band Cruisers. Please welcome to the stage, the Cruisers.
on trumpet and vocals, musician first class, David Smith. Hey! Mr. Cab Calloway himself. <laughs> Trevor Shiflin on guitar. Yeah. All right, folks, we started with an Earth, Wind, and Fire number. And we're going to do another one. This one's called That's the Way of the World. This is just, if you don't know this song already, it's just one of those nice, feel good songs. It'll just make you want to kind of move like this. Maybe you can snap your fingers and clap your hands. So do whatever you want to do, whatever, do whatever you feel like doing. Is that all right?
1970, on the direction of then leader of the Navy Band, Commander Donald Stouffer, Port Authority was the first of its kind. A group of Navy musicians given the specific mission of connecting younger audiences to their Navy. Specifically, in the words of retired senior chief musician Leonard Cuddy, by playing the music kids wanted to hear. Port Authority performed around the world, spreading the sound of the new, now Navy with their groovy, funky beats and star quality vocals, all the while attracting young people to sign up and join the Navy. To honor the original members of Port Authority, we'd like to perform one of their most popular tunes called Doing the Scoob, written by Port Authority drummer David Carradine about bass player Richie Reddick, who was also known as Scoob.
In the mid-70s, Port Authority added a jazz fusion sound to the funk and groove that become known for. We present to you Deja Vu and Funky Stuff as we're joined by former Port Authority members, retired chief musician Mike Beagle on saxophone, retired, <laughs> retired musician first class Diane Beagle, and retired senior chief musician Dick Glass on vocals and Scott Ragsdale on trombone.